Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to add Fragment dynamically in Android. First of all, create a new project. Give the name of this project. Add Fragment dynamically. Change the package name. After that, click next, next, next. Choose empty activity, click next, finish. First of all, we will make some changes in our layout file of main activity add the place of relative layout use linear layout remove this property and add orientation property orientation horizontal and close this linear layout Save this. Now copy this file. And paste one time. This time give the name of this file to segment1.xml. Okay. Now open that. Remove this dashboard from main activity and open fragment one. Change this horizontal to orientation horizontal to vertical. And add one more property on the test size. Test size is equal to 25 dp. Save this. And so the SP. SP stands for scalable pixels. And use default string I am fragment save this now copy this fragment one file and paste one time change the name of this fragment one to Fragment two copy open fragment two class save this now now add two files. Now I uh, create a one path class file for fragment one fragment one and extend this class from fragment finish yes override on create view method and add add a one line code inflator using inflator layer inflator class object for the method inflate and pass 
reference or fragment one layout file using R layout dot and root is equal to root container attachment call. this I had this current API now okay this segment one class and paste one more time. Change the name to fragment two and open this fragment two class and change the layout file fragment two. Save this open fragment two. It is fragment two and it is fragment one. Now do some coding in our main activity. Java source file. Here remove this line and create an initializer object of fragment major class fn fragment. Measure is equal to new from initialize from child uh, support method of get fragment manager method of activity after that create an object of fragment transaction class. Fragment transaction class fragment transaction is equal to fragment major dot begin transaction. After that, set object of window major. VM is equal to get the measure and create object of display class B is equal to VM dot get default display after check if B dot get with Greater than b dot get height. Then initialize object of segment one. Create an initialize object of segment one class segment one. Mm -hmm. Segment one and segment transactions dot replace replace and void dot id dot Content segment segment else if our more is linear layout then portrait segment 
have to place a fragment one plus use fragment two plus fragment two and use the fragment two constructor before constructor and change this fragment one to fragment two plus object fragment only save this now add a super linked learning save this now run your program to see the output add one there is a problem with the work code sorry add one more line here fragment transaction dot commit and test our layout file everything is okay then run your program again Yeah. It is in a portrait view, so it is displaying segment two. Uh, switch your orientation from a portrait to portrait to landscape. For do this, select uh, press control. After that, F twelve. You will see now it is using segment one. Try again. Can press control and press F12. Now it is using segment one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.